Hi, I'm Rachel Scott, and this is a fun, kind of funky wild flow to a crazy pose called Dragonfly. Two blocks are optional for this practice. I hope you have fun. We'll start off in extended child's pose. Bring your toes together, knees just a little bit apart, and walk your hands forward. Let your elbows rest against the earth. Let your forehead come down, soften your shoulders, and start to tune into your breath. Take five deep breaths here. Keeping your hips weighted back onto your heels. Walk your hands as far forward as you can. And then keeping your left hip heavily anchored, walk your hands over to the right. Press your hands forward and down as you stretch your outer left hip back and take a nice deep stretch through the left side of your waist. You can move your rib cage around here, finding a nice little stretch that feels good, and then breathe into any tightness that you find. Slowly walk your hands back to the center, and then keeping your right hip anchored, stretch out to the left side of your mat. Again, move your rib cage around, find a nice place to stretch, and then breathe into any tightness. Coming all the way back to the center of your mat. Press your hands forward and down, rise up onto your hands and your knees, curl your toes under, and make your way back into your first downward facing dog. Feel free to move around a little bit in this downward facing dog, pressing through one heel, pressing through the other heel, and starting to find more length through your spine. We'll start to walk the feet up towards the hands. Place the feet hip distance apart in parallel, soften your knees, and slowly roll up through the back of your body, one vertebra at a time, coming all the way up to stand. And once you stand up, roll your shoulders up and back a couple of times. Bring your big toes together, heels just a little bit apart, moving into sun salutations. First, bend your knees a little bit, hug the inner thighs together, and as if you're pulling stockings up your legs, pull up through the muscles of your legs as you straighten them. Anchor your sitting bones down until you feel your low belly lift up. Bring all of that length all the way through the crown of your head, and then reach your fingertips down. Slow breath in. Exhale out. Inhaling in, reach the arms up. As you exhale, soften your knees in forward fold. Fingertips or the palms to the ground. As you inhale, lift up halfway. Then as you exhale, step back into plank pose for this first one. Plug into your toes, lift your thighs up, and then lift your hips a little bit higher than usual. Lengthen your sitting bones down towards your heels and engage your glutes slightly. Lift your low belly up. Push into your fingertips to widen the back of your heart and then keep this lift through your core as you melt your chest slightly towards your fingers. Shift forward onto your tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, or halfway, or all the way down. Inhale into your back bend, baby cobra or up dog. Lift your core, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Push forward and down through your finger pads as if you were plugging your hands down into the earth. And as you press your hands down into the earth, pull up through the bones of your arms all the way to the core of your heart. and Stabilize your shoulder blades on your back. From your chest, reach up and back through your hips as you sink your heels down towards your mat. Keeping your hips high, bend your knees, look forward, and then walk, step, or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Hug your legs together, inhale, reach your fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your sides. Inhaling in, reach your arms up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend, curl your heart forward, plug into your fingertips. Exhale, downward facing dog, three breaths here. The bottom of your next exhale, bend your knees, look forward, press into your hands, walk, step, or jump your feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise all the way up, squeeze your legs, stretch your fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, hands by your sides. One more like that. Inhale and reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, open your chest. Plant your hands, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Press into the tops of your feet, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Push down into the front of your hands a little bit more until you feel your finger pads connect down into the earth. Hug your outer arms in and then push down into your hands as you stretch your arms to straight. As you lift your thighs up a little bit higher, sink your heels back and down. Take one more breath. Exhale completely, look forward, walk, step or jump your feet. Inhale, lift up halfway and fold in. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands by your sides. Moving on, inhale and reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift up. This time, just step back into downward facing dog. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Inhale and stretch your right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, draw your knee into your chest, shift forward and round your spine. The trick here is not to drop the hips. So push into your back toe mound, lift your hips up higher. Inhaling in, reach the leg all the way back. As you exhale, draw your knee into your chest, keep your hip nice and high, curl in. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Draw your knee into your chest, curl in. Now lift your hips up higher, cross the knee to the outside of your left arm. Inhale back to center, place the foot directly between your hands. Turn your back heel on its side, front heel to back arch, come on up, warrior two. Press into your back heel a little bit more and descend your front thigh down. Shift your hips towards your back foot and bring your elbow either onto your thigh, or towards the inside of your knee, or fingertips all the way to the floor for Parjva Konasana. Press your arm back into your knee and then curl your right sitting bone underneath you. Stretch your chest nice and wide. Inhale here. Exhale, press down into your feet. Inhale, back up into warrior two. And as you exhale, take your hands all the way down to the mat. Turn up onto your back toes and pause. Bring one block under each hand. Now you can do this without blocks, but the blocks make it a little bit easier. <laughs> so press down into your palms. Lift your back ribs up. Press into your back toes and keep your butt cheek lifted. Push into your hands so much that you can hover the front foot. Slide it back into three-legged plank. Keep your shoulders right over your wrist. Draw your knee forward. Almost, almost put the foot down. Slide it on back. Draw the knee into your chest. Almost touch the foot down. Hover, hover, hover. Slide it back and then press back downward facing dog. And you can keep your hands on your blocks here. It's actually kind of nice. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale and take the right leg all the way up. Now keep your left hip pulling back as you open your hip up towards the sky. Nice big stretch here. Now draw your right knee into your belly. Keep your hips back. Open your right knee out to the side. Press your arms to straight. Stretch your heels straight to the side wall and lift your outer hip up. Inhale, sweep the leg all the way back. As you exhale, draw the knee into your chest. Place the right foot all the way up between your hands again and turn your back heel on its side. You can move your blocks out of the way. Inhale, rise on up, warrior two. Interlace your hands behind your back. Sink down into your front thigh, roll your shoulders back, inhale. And as you exhale, curl your belly up and in. Take your ear either to the inside of your knee or your shin, or depending on the flexibility and structure of your hips, you may be able to take your head further down towards your ankle. Lift your fingertips up towards the sky. Bend your front knee to see if you can get a little bit lower. Humble warrior, press into your feet. Inhale, rise back up into warrior two. Open your arms. And then as you exhale, take your hands down to the mat. 
Turn onto your back toes, lightly lower your back knee down, and walk your foot over to the right. Now keep your hips pulling up and back. This is going to be a theme in this class. Hips back and up as you walk your hands forward. Some of you might like to turn your foot out just a little bit, but do keep your knee hugging in for this version. As your hips move back and up, lengthen your chest towards the front of your mat. Option one, stay right here on your fingertips. Option two, use a block and bring your forearms down. Option three, some of you may be able to bring your elbows down towards the mat. And then wherever you find your version here, pull the hips back and then stretch the chest forward. Now it's important to note that this kind of flexibility through the hips isn't just about your muscles, but it's also about how your pelvis and your thigh bone is shaped. So don't be discouraged. There's something in this pose for everybody, but we all may look a little different. Keeping your hips pulling back, reach your chest forward one more time. Inhale, exhale. And then walk your hands back to the inside of your foot. Turn your toes forward. Lift your back thigh up. So again, lift the hip high, squeeze the right knee onto the outer right arm, plug into your fingertips, and then hover the foot. From here, you can pause, you can take a little mini chaturanga if you like, and then we'll all step back to three-legged downward facing dog, and then put the foot down. Take a well-deserved inhale, exhale out, look forward. Inhale, stretch your left leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the left knee into your chest and lift the back ribs. Inhale, stretch the leg all the way up and back. Exhale, knee into your chest, lift the sideways, plug into your back toes. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Exhale, coming on forward, lift onto your back toe mound to lift your hips higher. And now bring the knee to your outer right arm, lift your hips up. Turn forward, place the foot directly between your hands. Turn your back heel on its side, bend your front knee to a square, rise on up, warrior two. Settle down into your legs. Shift your hips towards your back toe and bring your elbow either onto your thigh or to the inside of your leg, depending on the length of your arms, maybe all the way to the floor. Bend your right knee to square and then pull the left hip underneath you. And now stretch through your top arm to open your chest. Press down into your front heel. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two, open your arms. Exhale, take your hands all the way down to the mat and turn onto your back toes. Grab onto your blocks again if you have them. Press down into your blocks and lift your back ribs up. Plug into your back toes to lift your back thigh up and then push through your hands and hover your left foot. Keep your shoulders over your wrists, slide the left foot back, three-legged plank. Draw the left knee into your chest, hover it right above the floor, right above the floor, slide it on back, three-legged plank pose. And draw the knee into your chest, Hover the foot, push through your hands, engage your core, and then slide all the way back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Lift your leg up, keep your hips back, draw your left knee in towards your belly, and take the knee straight out towards the side, like nine o'clock. Reach through your heel, straighten your arms and lift your hip up, lift your heel up, slide the leg all the way back. Exhale, knee into your chest, step forward. You can set your blocks aside again. Inhale, rise all the way up, warrior two. Interlace your hands the opposite way behind your back. Roll your shoulders back. Keep your tailbone down, lift your chest. And as you exhale, bring your ear towards the inside of your knee, your shin, perhaps all the way down towards the ankle, maybe even head touching the floor. Stretch your arms up. To come lower in this pose, bend your front knee a little bit more to send your head down. Press down through your feet. Inhale, rise all the way back up, warrior two. Open your arms. Then take the hands down to the mat. Turn onto your back toes and lower your back knee down. Slide your hips back slightly and then walk your hands as far forward as you can. Again, option one, stay high onto your fingertips. Option two, bring the forearms down onto a block. And option three, again, depending on your hips and your proportions, you may bring your elbows all the way down to the mat. Keep pulling your hips back. Imagine you have a little string attached to your tailbone as your heart pulls forward through your arms. Squeeze your left knee in towards your left shoulder. Take one more breath. 
exhale out. Walk your hands back into the inside of your front foot. Lift your back knee off the floor and lift your hip up quite high. Now squeeze your left leg towards your left shoulder and press down so much through your hands that you can lift your left foot up. Keep lifted up through your hips. You can take a little mini chaturanga here if you want to and then slide all the way back. Three-legged dog, put the foot down and take a nice deep breath. Looking up towards the front of the mat, bend your knees softly, walk, step or jump your feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, hug your legs, rise all the way up to stand. And then exhale, hands down by your sides. Bend your knees. Set your hips back down nice and low until your chest is parallel to the floor and bring your hands together in front of your heart. Lengthen your chest forward. As you exhale, twist, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Now press your knee into your elbow, your elbow into your knee and open your chest to the side wall. Now look down, squeeze your knees, but press your right knee into your elbow and then see if you can come onto your right foot by lifting your left foot up. Maybe a little wobbly, don't be afraid to put that foot back down. Option one, you can put your hands down here. Option two, staying in this twist, you can begin to slide the left leg back, 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 back. Bend the right knee and step all the way back into Parvrita Parjva Konasana. Now, if you got a little off kilter here, just take your hands down, sort out your stance, and then come back and into the pose. Squeeze your inner thighs together, lengthen your spine, and turn your belly to the side. Press down into your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Coming into crescent pose, take a nice big stretch. And then as you exhale, take your hands all the way down to the mat. Lower your back knee lightly down. This time, walk your foot to the middle of your mat and turn your toes out about 45 degrees, coming into awkward pigeon. So again, hips back and up. Flex the right foot strongly. And from the outer hip, turn the thigh bone out. So the bottom of the foot will begin to peel away from the floor, but keep your inner ankle nice and long. As you pull the outer right hip back and in, again, walk your hands forward. So hips move back, heart moves forward, and from here again, on fingertips, elbows to block, or elbows come down towards the mat. Squeeze the right hip back, pull your chest forward, and you should start to feel an opening in your outer right hip. Take two more breaths. Squeeze your inner legs in and slowly walk your hands back to the inside of your foot. Press your hands down, turn your toes forward. Lift your back knee up. Now press your left hand down directly underneath your shoulder and step your right foot about halfway down your mat and to the right. Turn onto the outside of your back foot. Lift up out of the left side waist and stretch your right arm all the way up towards the sky to come into a version of Vasishtasana. Lift your hips up a lot and push your foot and your hand down. You'll get a nice little stretch through the outer hip. Keep lifting up. And then as you exhale, lower that hand down. Step all the way back. Downward facing dog. Looking forward once again. Inhale, exhale, walk, step or jump the feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold in. Right away, bending the knees, sit down nice and low. Come into a chair pose, fingertips into your chest. Lengthen your spine nice and long, hips back. As you exhale, twist to the left. Hook your elbow to the outside of your left knee. Pull your hips back, squeeze your knees together, and turn your belly towards the side wall. Keeping your twist, look down. Now keep squeezing your knee into your arm as best you can and hover your right toes off the floor. Reach your chest forward, start to send your right leg back behind you, and then step all the way back, Pavrita Parjva Konasana. And again, if you need to set yourself up, just lower your hands down, sort yourself out, and come back into the pose. Press down into your feet, inhale, rise on up into crescent pose, nice big stretch. And then exhale, take the hands down, lower the back knee, Walk your left foot a little bit more towards the center of your mat. Turn the toes out 45 degrees. And now as if you have a little string attached to your outer left knee, pull the outer left knee back, plug it into the hip socket, and slide your hips back so the foot starts to peel off the floor. Hips back, again, walk your hands forward. Stay on your fingertips. 
lower your elbows down onto a block or maybe snuggle your forearms down towards the mat. Still finding this action of hips back, heart forward. Relax your jaw and take two deep breaths. Hug your inner thighs in and walk your hands back. Turn your left toes forward, lift your back knee up. Now anchor your right hand strongly down underneath your shoulder. Step your left foot about halfway down your mat, turn it straight out. Turn onto the outside of your back foot, your right foot. Now push your hand down, foot down, lift the side of your waist in and up. Press down through your left foot, lift your hips up, Vasishtasana. Press into your hand, lift up taller through the sides of your waist. Keep lifting as you bring your top hand down. Step back, downward facing dog. At the end of your exhale, walk, step, jump your feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up. And exhale, hands by your sides. Bringing your weight now into your right foot. Sit down low. Come onto your left toes. Lift your left foot up. Cross your left foot over your right knee. Coming into a standing hip stretch. Send your hips back behind you and pull your chest forward. You can either stay here with your hands together in front of your chest. You can bring your elbows down onto your shin. Wherever you are, get your hip a little lower. Send your hips back and pull your chest forward. Now lift your lower belly up just a little bit. Get a little buoyancy here. Lift your left foot up and start to send it back again behind you. Reach, 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 reach. Chest forward, step all the way back. Inhale, rise on up into crescent pose. Nice big stretch here. Palms in front of your heart, coming back into revolved lunge. Twist your belly towards the right. Inhale, untwist, bring your hands down to the mat. And just like we did before, step your right foot halfway down your mat, turn onto the outside of your back foot, slide your right hand up and lift your hips up to come into a version of Vasishtasana. Keep lifting up as you lower your hips down towards the mat. Slide your left heel towards your bum, sit on your hips and voila, seated twist. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And as you exhale, twist to the side. Now, if this bothers your bottom knee, you can always straighten that bottom leg. Inhale, lift up. Both sitting bones nice and rooted. Exhale, revolve and twist. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, revolve and twist. Inhale, come on forward. Now stay seated facing the side of your mat, coming into a hip stretch. Option one, seated thread the needle. Left foot on the floor, right knee across. Option two, Sukhasana, cross-legged seat. Option three, Agni Stambhasana, stack your shins. Fingertips behind you, everybody lift up. Now as you exhale, hinge forward. You probably already feel it in your outer hips. So go to the distance that you can, that feels good for your body. You can start to walk your hands forward, get nice and long through your spine, and send the breath down into any tightness that you find. Feel free to move around a little bit here so you don't feel stuck in one place and follow your breath. One more inhale. Let it go, exhale. Inhaling and come on back up and we'll come back out the way that we got into this. So go ahead and place your right foot on the mat, left hand on the mat, slide your foot out, press down into your thigh, lift your hips up, take your right arm up, keep your hips lifted, bring your right hand down and draw your right knee into your chest. This time, slide the right leg underneath your body out towards the left, flex your foot, inhale as you exhale, lower your hips down. Try to keep your back toes curled under if you can or draw the outer left hip forward. This is a nice stretch for the outer hip. So reach through the ball of your foot as best you can and pull the right thigh bone back towards the right side. Lift your chest up. And as you exhale, find the deep belly twist. Inhale, lift and lengthen. 
Exhale, deep belly twist. One more time, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, deep belly twist. Maybe come down onto your forearms and we'll take a couple of breaths here. Keep stretching out through the right big toe mound and plugging the right thigh bone underneath you. One more inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands back on in. Press your hands down, turn your back toes under, lift your hips up. Slide your foot forward, turn onto the inside of your back foot, lift your hips up, and for a moment, take a nice big stretch. Keeping your hips lifted, lower your left hand down, step back, downward facing dog. Give yourself a moment here to press through your heels, shake out any tension. Walk, step or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Fold, exhale, bend your knees, sit down, reach your arms forward for chair pose, and then go ahead and draw your hands together in front of your heart. Come onto your right toes now, plug into your left heel, lift your right foot, cross it on over for your hip stretch. Again, send your hips back, 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 get low. Option one, hands to the heart, elbows to the forearm. Option two, reach your chest forward. The more you send your hips back and pull your chest forward, the juicier stretch you'll get in your outer right hip. Now lift up just a little bit, engage your core, untether your right foot and start to send it back behind you. Heart forward, heart forward. Step all the way back, nice big crescent lunge, nice stretch. Then coming on forward again for our twist, hands into your heart, lengthen your spine, and then twist to the left. Turn your belly, open your chest. Inhale, untwist, hand down, coming back again into our side plank. Root your right hand down, step your left foot halfway down your mat, outside of the back foot, lift your hips up and stretch. Lift up a little bit higher as you lower your hips down. Pull the left heel in, pull the right heel in towards your bum, or straight ahead if that's more comfortable. Inhale, get nice and tall, and exhale, twist into your leg. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Root your right hip down. Exhale, turn your belly and twist. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Good. Inhale, untwist, coming into our hip stretch. You can come into seated thread the needle, Sukhasana or Agni Stambhasana. Now the left shin on top, fingertips behind you. Lift your chest up. Exhale, begin to forward fold. Relax your jaw, send your breath into any tightness through your pelvis. One more breath, deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Coming out the way we came in, put your left foot down, slide your right hand forward. Right leg shoots out, lift your hips all the way up, coming into side plank. Stay nice and lifted as you bring your left hand down. Turn onto your back toes, draw the left knee into your chest, and now send the leg out towards the right. Sit down onto your hips. Plug the thigh bone into the socket. Turn your belly towards the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, twist and lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn the belly deeply and lower. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn. Now keep reaching through the left big toe mound. Plug the thigh bone in and lengthen your spine. With every exhale, see if you can find a slightly deeper, juicier twist through your belly. One more breath, let it go, turn. And then slowly walk your hands back up. Press your left hand down, turn your inner right foot down, lift your hips up, and this time, straighten your right arm up towards the sky. Just take a nice, big, open stretch here. Keep lifted as you bring your right hand down, draw the left knee into your chest, downward facing dog. Press down through your palms, look up. You have the choice to lower your shins down, jump to sit, or jump your legs through. Coming to sit down on your mat. Draw the knees into your chest. Sit up nice and tall on your sitting bones. 
start with your hands behind your thighs, roll your shoulders back and come onto your tippy toes. Squeeze the legs in, shoulders back. Option one, stay right here. Option two, squeeze the legs. Option three, straighten the legs, reach your arms forward. Lift your chest up, squeeze the inner thighs, staying here, four, five, four, three, two, one. Cross your ankles, hands down in front of you. Press forward, lift your hips up, little lift, and lower down. Squeeze your knees together, squeeze in. Option one, toes down. Option two, toes hover. Option three, straighten your legs. Hands into your heart this time. Inhale, exhale. Twist to your right, elbow to the outside of the leg. Yeah, twist here, good. Inhale back to center. Squeeze your legs, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back to center, twist to the right. One more time, inhale back to center, press your palms. Twist to the left, inhale back to center, lift up. Lower everything down. Now, playing with our peak pose from here. Option one, hands into your heart. Twisting to the right, plug your elbow onto the outside of your knee and work on turning. Option one, stay right here. Option two, cross the left ankle over your right knee, flex the foot, bring your left elbow into your foot and then turn the belly from there. This is option two. Option three, lean back and hover the right foot. Play here, lift your chest, I know, I know, turn your belly and then put your foot down, untwist. Woo. and then place your foot down on the mat. Let's do the other side. So option one, twisting to the left. Option two, the right ankle crosses over the left knee, plug the elbow in and turn. Option three, lean back, lift the left foot up and turn your belly to the left, lift your chest, soften your shoulders for three, for two, for one, and put the heel down, unravel yourself feet down, cross your ankles, lean on forward, press your hands down, vinyasa or right to downward facing dog, and all the way back. Come down onto your knees. Working into the peak section of class, we're going to put all of these bits and pieces together. We'll explore three different poses that are all quite challenging, each in their own way. So let's have some fun. We'll start with side crow, Parjva Bakasana. So start with your toes together, knees together in the center of your mat. Take a nice big inhale, lift your left arm up and cross it all the way up and over. So a slightly more accessible variation in terms of balance is to place both elbows onto your thigh. A little bit more challenging, but somewhat easier to get into because of the twist, is just to bring your left elbow to the middle of your thigh. Now, if you're having trouble getting your hands down to the floor, you can use your blocks to bring the floor up to you. So from this crossover position, place the elbow in the middle of your thigh, offset your hands and pause, squeeze your legs. Now remember all of the bum lifting that we've been doing, that's really important here, so squeeze your legs in and lift your hips up. Lift your hips up and over onto the shelf you're making of your upper arms. Keep lifting your shoulders away from the floor and then lean, 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 lean forward until maybe one toe gets light or both feet come off the floor and then squeeze your legs and then come on down. Part of this pose is the trust. You have to reach your chest forward to get your feet off the floor. Let's try the other side. Lift your right arm up, cross it up and over. Bring the elbow to the center of the thigh. Offset your hands. Remember, squeeze in and get your bum high. Lift up onto your tippy toes, lift your hips up and away, and then reach your chest forward. Place your thighs down and swivel your heels up towards the sky. Lift through your core, squeeze your legs, and then slowly come on down. Adding on to this variation um, is straightening the legs. So option one, you can stay with what we just did and play with that again. Option two, adding on the straightening of the legs to this particular pose. So crossing over again, just like we did, lifting the hips up, swiveling forward. Once you've found your balance, the bottom leg goes forward, the back leg, the top leg stretches back. Reach, 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 legs in, feet down. Ekapada Kundinyasana. Reach your right arm up, cross it up and over your left thigh, offset your hands, lift your hips up, lean forward, lean forward. Bottom leg goes forward, top leg goes back. Stretch through your legs and your feet, knees in, and back down. So, you can stay with one of those two, or to add on even more, 
we're going to add an external rotation of our thigh into the picture for a pose called dragonfly. Come to the top of your mat if you'd like to try this one. So for this pose, we'll start standing up. This will look familiar. Bring your weight onto your right foot, sit on down, and then cross your right ankle over your left knee. Sit down even further, right? So get nice and low. You can stay right here and play, or start to bring your left elbow to the outside of your left foot. Yes, all the way over, and then just like Parjva Bakasana, you can use blocks here, or bring your hands all the way down to the mat. Tuck your elbow underneath your foot, push your foot down, now lean your chest forward, hips stay high, and reach your right leg towards straight. Dragonfly. Lift on up, place your feet, your hands, and come all the way up to stand for the other side. A very complex pose, very fun to play with. Weight onto the left foot, right ankle crosses over, sit on down, Get comfy here for a moment. Flex your foot a lot. When you're ready, place your right elbow to the outside of your left foot. Here's that big twist. Hands come down to the mat. Offset the hands. You're gonna need to lean into them. Now, turn your knee up towards the sky. Push your foot down into your arm and then hover the foot off the floor and stretch it straight. Lean your chest forward. Come on up. Place your foot, release your right foot down to the mat. Come all the way up to stand. Place your feet hip distance apart at the front of your mat. Inhale and just take a nice stretch up and sigh out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands, step back to downward facing dog. Our work is done. Lower your knees down, sit off to one side, and stretch your legs forward. Take your feet nice and wide. So the inner legs have done a lot of work. So we'll start by stretching out the inner line of the legs. Hands behind you, lift your chest up. And then as you exhale, hinge forward. Some of you might feel the stretch here, can stay here. For some of us, it might be nice to walk the hands a little bit further forward. So walk forward as much as feels good in your body. And again, you're always welcome to use your blocks to prop your forearms. It's nice to bring the hands to the forehead and let the head go. We'll take about eight long, slow breaths here. Letting go of any tension, letting go of any tension through your shoulders, your jaw, your throat, Letting your eyes start to soften. Take one more deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Slowly walk your hands back up, lean back, use your hands to bend your knees, draw your knees together, and come to lay down on your back. Place your feet about hip distance apart. From here, coming into bridge pose to offer a little stretch to the front of your body. Press your heels down, press your outer elbows down, curl your tailbone up, lift your hips up towards the sky. And as you press your heels down, now lift your chest. You can press the upper arm bones down. You have the option here to bring the hands to the floor, hold on to the edge of your mat, or interlace your hands underneath you. Whatever would feel good. Press down through your heels, stretch the front body, lift your chest. And as you exhale, slowly come on down. Draw your knees into your chest. Take your knees wide, flex your feet towards the sky. Coming into happy baby, you can hold on to the outer shins, the outer edges of your feet, rocking side to side. You can also turn your head a little side to side. Relax again, any tension through your throat, through your neck. 
finally stretch your feet up towards the sky stretch your fingers up towards your sky give yourself some nice rolls through your wrists and through your ankles moving through your fingers and if there's any last pose that you would really love to do right now take the next eight breaths or so to do it some of you might like to do Baddha Konasana or even taking Happy Baby or a twist one more time. And then when you're ready, extending your legs out, giving your legs a little shake and resting in Shavasana. slowly begin to deepen your breath you can wiggle your fingers and your toes as you're ready bend your knees roll over onto your right side and slowly press yourself all the way up to sit come into a comfortable seat bring your left hand over your heart your right hand over your left and feel your heartbeat Release your chin down towards your chest and just take a moment to acknowledge yourself today for your practice. Perhaps you were trying new things, exploring new boundaries today. So honor your courage and your sense of play. Taking one more deep breath in and exhaling out. Namaste.